so now how to configure this so for that let me go to user settings and you can go to git integration so let me go to user settings from here and you can go to git integration so here you can see once you go to the user settings here you get a linked account and here you get a git integration so this is a new ui again where you get a git provider so i will choose a git provider as my github and then it will ask you to link the git account it's in preview or you can use it a personal access token where you can provide a username and you can get a token from your github personal token a personal access token from here you can get a token or they have uh, got a new one called a link git account let me check that so once i click on it so you can see once i click on this link so it is opening a new tab that is uh, databricks by databricks would like to uh, permission to verify your git account and so on yeah this is a new feature guys uh, i think they have recently add a tie up with this and once you click on this link it will automatically take care of getting a token from there and now you can see it is linking an account and wow the link has been successfully achieved so uh, before that before that what we used to do is we used to go back to your uh, github account and we need to create a pad token that is personal access token and then we would get that pad token and we would have pasted it here but now you don't need to do anything like that just you can go to git integration select a github and just click on link so it will take you the new tab and you will uh, get a link of your databricks to your github now coming back to my uh, notebook which is there inside my git so let me show you which is there inside my repository that is ingestion file auto loader now i want to push this to my github account so i'll just click on this main and here i'll write any message commit message that is mandatory so i'll just write commit and you will just uh, i need to just click on commit and push so the moment i click on commit and push oh it is asking me to install the uh, databricks here so let me do that just give me a second so i'm just installing it yeah so i'll just give you permission to read write and all those things and and let me give only one repository that is development xr development yeah and let me click on save let me check now yeah now you can see that uh, committed uh, successfully committed and push the changes to the main branch so what does it mean so let me cancel out this just go to my github here and have a quick refresh here you can just have a quick refresh here and now you can see your in, uh, ingestion file auto loader is here so once i click on it and i can see your entire scripts here you can see that so this is how we can push our code from our databricks to a github so now let us do some changes in the notebook here so i'll just write one more script here suppose i want to stream i want to stream all the i want to stop all my streams here so for that i'll write for i'll make a for loop stream in spark dot streams let me write streams streams dot active active and let me write stream dot stop let me stop all that let me execute this yeah uh, let me attach my automatically your cluster is attached and you can see if just in case any stream is running that all stream will be stopped so i have changed some scripts here but that is not reflected in your github you can you cannot see that stream code here so how to push it so you can just click on main again and you can see it hey, i can see them some, some modification here and that is a new code or new script coming in 
to the file i do you want to push this code yes you will just write a commit message here and click on commit and push and the moment you click on and you get a successful message you can just go back and have a quick refresh here and you can see the change in your git here i need to refresh this let me do that and you can see there would be a quick change of the code what you have done so let me do a one more notebook for you so let me go to the workspace and suppose in my workspace in my account i want to push one more uh, notebook for example service principle so i have done all the service principle i want to uh, save this into my git so i'll just click on this i'll click on clone and then i'll clone it into my uh, repository so let me go back to my repository and i'll go into my account and just clone it so the moment you clone it it will ask you for the uh, folder yeah let me click on this and then click on clone yeah it has cloned here you can see uh, a new notebook has come that is clone 3 service principle so i'll just have a quick re uh, rename for this so this is service principle only or mounting uh, using service principle okay now i want to push this to your github so you need to click on this main if you want to create a new branch in that you can create a new branch you can see here the new notebook is added you can find out here uh, if you want to push that to a main branch you can just write a commit message here and click on commit and push or if you wish to create a new branch you can do that you can just create a new branch for this for example uat this is a, a new branch uat and this is for testing I, i'm just taking an example guys i am uh, i just wanted to show you that even you can create a new branch from the databricks and you can push this code to a new branch there okay then just write commit here so a new branch is created testing and now i'll click on commit and push so the moment i click on commit and push i get a notification that i successfully a new branch is created and it is pushed so i'll just need to verify that whether a branch is created in that so you can just go and see hey i got a new branch here uat branch and this is for testing in testing i can see the service principle mounting using service principle and i can see all the scripts here of the service principle so this is how you can do your entire uh, ci cd using databricks repository to your github even you can link your azure devops also and this is the same way how we do it yeah thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video so if you like it please subscribe to my channel like the video share it with your friends keep learning see you in the next video bye bye